That's gotta be the most blasphemous shit that I've ever fucking... Look, okay, I, I, oh, fuck me. I think my, I think my headphones just got wet. That, that finale was just fucking, what the actual fuck? This show, look, man, okay, this show from episode one to eight has been coasting between like an eight and nine out of ten, uh, episodically, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's been pretty good. I just haven't been keeping up with the reviews. I did, I did reviews on these. Check out, you know, the description box or the comments section down below for those thoughts. But this finale is one of the best finales I've ever fucking seen, like, in my whole fucking life. It, I'm probably going to hell for liking this show, but this show is fucking fantastic. <laughs> okay, here's why I knew that this, this finale was something really, really fucking special. Because, like, this finale is almost like what the ending of The Usual Suspects, you know, what that ending does to that movie, you know? Because The Usual Suspects is good, but when the ending comes, it's like, all of a sudden, it's like iconic and shit. This fucking finale is so fantastic. Like, the first off, this whole show is just so bizarre and random and just weird like the the humor just fucking kills me i think that dominic cooper is fantastic as this preacher uh i love his dynamic and like his chemistry with tulip uh she is so fine by the way but their chemistry is fantastic i, I love her personality her character she's she's got this she's got this fierceness to her and this wit that i love i love for cassidy the vampire he's so intriguing he's just so strange i love J jackie earl haley uh J J jesse jesse custer uh, his <laughs> his character just killed me like on these moments especially like oh my god he was hysterical in this show what the fuck? But seriously, when Je I love the two angels as well, little cowboy angels. They're they're so quirky as fuck. This, uh, uh, by the way, like on the at the end of episode nine, like this montage right here, it was getting really, really repetitive. But out of nowhere, when you realize that this cowboy man fucker is just actually in hell, and they need his help for some reason. When he calls on God, seriously, when God showed up, I I cannot remember the last time that I laughed <laughs> so hard. Like, I literally laughed. I had to pause it. I was literally laughing out loud for minutes. <laughs> it's just this white man with this white beard just fucking projected on the screen. And, and that's, I thought that was actually the representation of God. And I'm telling you, I'm telling you, man. Whoo. Oh, man. I, uh, oh, God, that shit made me laugh uh, so hard, so deeply. Oh, man. Oh, man. But it wasn't God. It was just like some imposter and God has gone missing. I haven't read the gra graphic novel, obviously, but Eugene was interesting, uh, intriguing character, that's for sure. Usage, usage of Genesis, like like Jesse sending Eugene to hell unexpectedly, or that one chick who lets this guy die unexpectedly. Like, there's just so many abrupt moments. Like, this show is just like, and then at the end, like this moment here, uh, and then then the fucking the town explodes. Uh, this show is fucking incredible. It is so random. It is so absurdly funny and bizarre. There's great writing. The cinematography is just blazing. This episode, for me personally, was a 10 out of 10. I was riveted by this whole fucking thing. It blew my mind, and I almost laughed until tears came. So, I'm feeling 10 out of 10 on this finale. I'm feeling a 9 a, uh, a solid 9 out of 10 for this season 1. This is probably one of the most unforgettable season 1s I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, I just don't know that it's up there on that Breaking Bad, you know, Game of Thrones level for season 1. But for God's sakes, it is... It, I'm not forgetting it anytime soon. And I, I, if I was bored, it, it hardly ever fucking happened. I cannot wait for season two. Bring on season two. You know, but, you know. You know, what, what, what about you? What are your thoughts?